Do papaya seeds get rid of intestinal parasites? That's what I'm answering today. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. It's good to see you. Talking about parasites because for the last few years they have been all over social media. I have a long form video talking about intestinal parasites. I really encourage you to take a look at this video from, from beginning to end because I talk about what a parasite is. I talk about how common they are. By the way, yes, intestinal parasites do happen in people, absolutely. But they may not be as common as many social media videos may, may, may make us think or uh, make us feel, okay? Um, but take a look at that video because it's going to give you a lot of uh, background um, for this video. Now, a lot of videos in social media talk about also homeopathic or sort of natural cures for intestinal parasites, papaya seeds being one. So um, do papaya seeds work? Now, interestingly enough, I have to say, there are actually a couple of studies that do suggest that papaya seeds may work or may have worked in some for intestinal parasites. I thought that was really interesting when I looked them up myself. I was like, oh my gosh, this does exist. However, you must know that these studies are just a few. Um, they're not the strongest studies, the most robust studies. We need more studies and larger people, better studies. This is really important to be able to extrapolate or be able to basically assume things about a large body of people, a large population of people. So I do want to be very clear that, yeah, there are some studies that say that papaya seeds may work for intestinal parasites, um, but I still think the verdict is out on that. The jury is out because we just need more data is my opinion and the opinion of other people. By the way, did I ever introduce myself? <laughs> I probably didn't. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, by the way. I'm a practicing family physician. I was just so excited to talk about parasites and papaya seeds. Parasites and papaya seeds. Uh, two Ps. Um, okay, so that's so that's about the evidence. But let me tell you just a couple more things I think is important to keep in mind, okay? Um, let's see here. Remember, though, we actually have medications to treat many parasites. If you actually do have a parasite, um, you know, it's very likely that your doctor has a medication that can treat you, okay? And that's ultimately what you really, really want. The other thing I would say too is if you really have an intestinal parasite, you don't want to be going at this alone. Right? You don't want to be, you know, buying things on Amazon or Googling things online to try to cure yourself. You want to go to a doctor. Um, number one, we could do tests to see if you do have a parasite. Number two, in many cases, we can give you a treatment that will help you. Okay. I would also say the other thing that really should not be dismissed here is that, you know, many people, uh, these are some of the videos I've seen on social media about people who say, who claim they have intestinal parasites. Um, you know, how do, how do they know? the symptoms that you may have, whatever they might be, may not be an intestinal parasite. You know, just because you've read online that maybe your symptoms match up with X, Y, or Z doesn't mean that it's actually X, Y, or Z. There are many other things that can cause symptoms that could overlap with the symptoms of intestinal parasites or other conditions. And what you don't want is you don't want to have a misdiagnosis or a misdiagnosis. So it's another reason that if you are concerned you have a parasite, you don't need to be going at this alone, treating this on your own, going online, eating papaya seeds, things like that, without talking to your doctor for a proper diagnosis to make sure it's not something else and to get proper treatment, okay? Uh, I would also say, too, I think it's important to, to, to note that, you know, there can be risks for eating papaya seeds, too, depending on how you eat them, how many, all that good stuff, okay? The bottom line here is, um, is there some evidence out there about papaya seeds and intestinal parasites? Yeah, there is. Is it strong? No, not particularly, and I certainly wouldn't bank my body on it. If I actually thought I had parasites, I would not be going the papaya seed route. I would be going the doctor the see my doctor route, okay? Let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Um, check out that other video on parasites. Again, soup to nuts about parasites, what a parasite is, how common they are, who has them, all that good stuff. It's really, really important, okay? Again, I'll link that here. Let me know what you think. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos on Facebook, guys. Please like and follow my page. On YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Guys, I have subscription groups on YouTube and Facebook. Please make sure you check those out. Also, I am on TikTok, WhatsApp. Um, la, 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 threads, uh, Instagram, you name it, at Dr. Jen Cottle. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Oh, 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 oh. Make sure you go to my website, drjencottle.com, to sign up for my free health newsletter. Guys, love y'all. Bye.